Good morning. Sunday, 24th of June, 2018. It's actually Midsummer Day today. Red to do. I'm at Little Haddam, Hertfordshire. Round four. GH Motorcycles, Husqvarna, ACU Eastern, Indio Championship. It's a cold day over there. Sun's out, it's warming up a bit now. I got here just after 7 o'clock, or about 7 o'clock, probably just a bit before. People are now turning up, there's one or two camped overnight. I know I'm into the sun. Let's hope we have a good day. Chip, a um, couple of little rules from the farmer. Uh, as usual, stick to the course. If you go off the course, you're going to damage his crop. Um, for the guys that are spectating, families and what have you, the wood over there where you walk down to the bog, if you could walk around the outside of the field rather than through his barley and pheasant cover, that'd be good, thank you. Um, for the lads riding around the track, you've all done it before. Obviously, there's plenty of opportunity to cut the course. We'll have travelling marshals keeping an eye on that, so stick to the taped areas. Uh, the bog down in that bottom field is as boggy as it usually is, so... Rather than just steam in there, you, you've got loads of time on your first few laps. You can stop, get off your bike, have a look around, pick a line, and uh, get through it without any problems. <laughs> no, I can't promise you, sorry. Um, special tests. Because some of the ditches are quite overgrown, we've done our best to strim them. Um, but you guys are going to have to do the rest of the strimming with your handlebars. So, obviously on the first lap it might look a bit overgrown, but that'll be better on the on the second lap for your test. So, just yeah. So you'll do a whole lap, including the test on lap one. The test is part of the whole lap. Um, timing. So obviously Sudbury Club timing. We've got our transponders. Hopefully you've got all your transponders synced. If you haven't, it's too late. Um, as usual, it's, you've got a time card because it's a time card event. The time card is to give you your ETAs, so when you should be clocking in. So it's for information, your information only. No one's going to write on it like they do at some of the uh, Diss and Woodbridge events. It's all done electronically. When you tab in with your transponder over on where the yellow flags are, it will record your time on the computer. There's a big sign up there saying, if you don't see your number, it hasn't been counted. So there's a couple of screens either side. You must see your race number flash up. If for some reason it doesn't flash up, just swipe it again and it will flash up. We've been using the system now for a few years and it's pretty reliable now. So it's it does work. You've just got to be patient with it. Uh, and, and if you wave your transponder across it, rather than trying to touch it on the actual receiver, just wave it across a couple of inches away and it picks up no problem. So that's how you clock in. First lap in the morning, you need to clock in. You need to tab your transponder. So you'll leave just before the gates, you'll go through, and then you'll tab in. So that starts your lap time. Um, when you go around and you come in, on the later laps, when it's going to be getting a bit tighter, this section here, which is closest to the part ferme, is a holding pen. The reason why that is, it gets congested towards the end. People are chasing their ETA, their minute, and if you wait at these gates, they can't get through. So whatever happens, you wait here, there's a clock there you can see. You don't have to wait right at the entrance to the gates and block that. Just go to the side, be, you know, be aware of other riders wanting to get through, and then you go through. If, on the last lap, you're chasing your minute, you think you might be late, there's a rat run down the outside, you can go down there, you don't have to go in the holding pen. Is everybody okay on that one? Cool. Uh, rules that we've just gone through are on a whiteboard down here as well, if you want to just reread them. That's it, yeah. So the first tap you've got, first lap, you've got loads of time. I think you've got 45, 50 minutes. You could go around there. If you're going fairly quick, you go around in 10, 15 minutes. You've got loads of time. Just learn the track, 
get round and then obviously you'll trundle down and then when you pick up the guys at the test and they'll tell you how the test works there's a series of lights, I won't bore you with it now but they'll tell you when you get there when you've, when you've got to go, when they tell you to go, you've got to go it's all been done on a, a light, light beam so it's 100% accurate, start and finish um, yeah I think that's about it, uh, I just want to say a little uh, word about last year and obviously if we can all spare a thought for our club member Gareth Young who lost his life um, last year so yeah uh, just a, a memory for him please and uh, a big round of applause for the lads that helped set up I think there's only nine or ten of them yesterday so have a great day Dad, oh. this is, this is the oh right sorry just what uh, yeah on it. where you go Effectively, where the test starts, you go up a ditch and then you run alongside of the A120. The margin you've got is split by a verge. So your front wheel could come over it, your back wheel could stay down it. So you're not going to go down there like you have done some years, flat out in fourth, because you'll be in the hedge. Or there's a fence. <laughs> so go down there steady until it cuts out, you'll see what you've got. Okay? One more thing. Pick up your rubbish. <laughs> Just under nine minutes, <coughs> then we'll be starting round four. <laughs> very quiet in the paddock, very hot today, it was last year. <coughs> Some kind of football match on today in, in Russia. I remember being here, I don't know if it's 2010. It might have been the same sort of World Cup then, or was it 10? Um, Germany was playing England in a round on the same day as Adam. They don't have to pick their dates. I'm here to try to get the start and probably hobble down to some of the special tests, see what I can do. Then later into the woods. To the woods! Just under three and a half minutes for start time. A breaking news, sounds good, doesn't it? Jake Roper, low 15 years old, can ride at this adult event. I don't know what that's for. Um, because it's a short course time card, the special test is less than 20% of the course and he's riding the, the appropriate or correct CC bike so he can ride in time car and hopefully he might be able to ride at Buckley but the last round of Thetford Forest he won't be able to. So he's stepped up from the junior one to ride in the adult. He wants to ride in the adult. Next year he won't have the problem. Last minute checks. No riders have come out with their bikes yet. They've got to uh, swipe their transponders against the receivers when they start, and that's it. They're off. Still the start. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds there, Andy. Come on. <laughs> Ten o'clock. got to swipe the transponders. They've got 40 minutes here. Jason Moore has come up first. That's gone. Up with two. And Ryan McDonald. Number four. Number three, Sam Mitchell. That's the first four of the championship party on. Over in the distance there is Andy Mason, current champion of Super Vets Clubman. Will he win today? Can he go back into the lead? Just waiting for the next. Well, they're coming out about five seconds. Four, two, 
one, go. Come on Andy, you're late. Oh, Saunders number five. Number six, Ben Cole. First year on zero, doing rather well. Number eight, Dan Willis. The first special test, the short is a start. And I've got Chase the ball and he's off. Start there. Well, here it is off. Sam Metz will be next. Number two, Ryan McDonald. Keep up. Whoa. I've got Izzy's problems. Mark Saunders is waiting to start his special test. He has left the start area. Here comes 17, Alex Walton, makes the start. Not a flies round here. Number 20 is turned up. Number 18. And Jason Mourners finishes that. And what's close behind him? Will Hughes. Has he done a faster one? 18. 18, yes. You've got to look both ways now. Oh, James the Barker. Okay. 22. You tell him. Go on. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> George Eustace. 23. Okay. <laughs> Number five. Number 